Hey guys, welcome to season one, episode ten of Bones. Here we go. Fifteen hundred years old. You shouldn't look this good. Which is why we're here. We're either going to authenticate the finest set of human remains from the island of the Fifteen hundred. Or dash the hopes of a thousand scholars. Holy kid gloves. We think should be all right. Zach, were you being metaphoric? I decided to give it a shot. Bunch of red circles. Each circle shows where a body part was found. Is this an airport? Los Angeles International. What was the Iron Age? 1,500 years ago? Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole Ice Age warrior thing. Iron, Iron Age. Age. And that's not <laughs> the only thing. The Homeland Security has just asked Dr. Bennett to identify three bodies found in... I'm not allowed to say. Point is, Agent Gustav. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. Matters. How much more good press can the Jeffersonian get? Oh. Damn it, come on. I can step in on that case. You pack your bags. Jesus, son of a gun. This car doesn't feel very FBI. Oh, is this FBI a is. This is a Mustang. It's a classic. What well, was better than that with the FBI? You know, I'd like to drive sometimes. Look, our contact out here is Special Agent Trisha Finn. I'm an excellent driver. Okay, Reed Finn. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm not above telling Deputy Director Colin what kind of car he rented. Probably not. Dozens of species of pollens have been discovered from the Cretaceous era. How long ago was that? 65 million years. Oh, God. That was a pretty good comeback. When you declare something authentic, you're on the risk of being proven wrong. That doesn't happen if you equivocate. Dr. Goodman will place the reputation of the institution over everything else. I'm an archaeologist. With all due respect, you used to be an archaeologist. <sighs> oh. I have no idea what's going on between you two right it's, now. It's like a little, like, like, competition. <laughs> Here's a map of the crime scene with a legend. Now, there's a marked cone at the location of East Bottom. Oh my god, look who it is! Coyotes at the airport? We got coyotes everywhere. Did you know that? <laughs> no. You know, Dr. Brennan, as a screenplay writer myself, I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. This is before she was on Grimm. Excuse me? <laughs> Someone told me they're thinking of making your book into a movie. This is the second time I've seen her in a show. All I know is I'm show. Sweet, some on a trail of a former boyfriend and it, Oh, um... By surgery. Oh, plastic Lots surgery? surgery. Oh, wait. I'm not sure I'll be able to tell who this was. Oh, snap. If anybody can figure it out, she can. Is it sunny, sweetie? <laughs> it's sunny. It's sunny. Zach? Here, Dr. Brennan. I make this a young woman. Early 20s. I see evidence of stabbing. One hit to the sternum, two to the pistol cartilages. He's Estimated looking for a freaking bed. camera. Degradation of remains suggests the body was left out in the open between a week and 10 days. The jaw has been broken and reset. Same with the right leg. Have you seen any movie stars oh, yet? Oh, broken. No, why? Say these words. Skybar. Go there tonight. Tell me everything. <laughs> Dr. Brennan, one of these x-rays shows Two dark clumps near the pelvis. Ryan, what's left of the spleen? Oh, we're ready to be here for this part. It's an implant. Yeah, it's a breast implant. Those come with serial numbers. We should be able to identify a victim in a couple of hours. There we go. Unlike other burials of the She did have plastic surgery. <laughs> Feared by his foes, respected by his neighbors. Encourage that much conjecture in archaeology. His huh. bones bear the marks of battle. His weapons are of good quality, well used. How did he die, Mr. A? Looks like tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. A proud man. I've got tuberculosis. Not the ending he would have wanted. What? I'd like details. You mean like a written report? Yes. <laughs> our findings will have to bear scholarly scrutiny from our peers. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this shit. <laughs> What's his problem? Good God, California. What is What does this have to do with the investigation? Why are you wearing such high heels? Our victim must have gotten off the black market. It's a black market and breast implants? Yeah, we have the name of the doctor from whom the implants were stolen. Well, he uses a black market breast implant. Honestly. Surgeons use them. They're not even real doctors. 
Maybe the producer I'm meeting will tell me. Okay, guys, let's turn our attention back to the murder victim. And I'd like to go pay a visit to Dr. Boots. Why? Because it's the only lead that we've got. That's and, true. and leads are great for screenplays or even say if you're actually working a real case. I have something for you. <sighs> Is it chocolate? No. I find my interest has flagged. Nice. You should just lay them out on the table and measure. Lay what out on the table and measure? Okay, awkward moment. You're more highly evolved. <laughs> the skull didn't just change your face, she you changed your skull. This is gonna make Brennan nuts. You know one thing. What's that? She's gonna be beautiful. Why would anyone go through all this pain and not end up beautiful? <laughs> names Michael Jackson or Joan Rivers mean anything to you? One of them. The other to look up. But in the future, people will look back upon the surgical alterations of the nose or breasts or buttocks with the same horror that we regard the binding of feet or the use of bronze coils to extend the neck. You want to speak up? Because it's really hard to hear every word in this very, very quiet waiting room. It's barbaric. <laughs> it's painful. Some glorified barber with a medical degree had the arrogance to think that he could do better than millennia of evolution. Do you know what producer you're meeting with, Dr. Brennan? Oh, no, my boy. Why is she so meeting. fascinating? I don't know what a producer does specifically. Nobody does. It, but it's really important. Dr. Costell, we'll see you now. You can remain here, each Yes, sir. <laughs> That'll be your high profile double lumen full C saline. Yeah, it's from a shipment of implants you reported stolen six months ago. You have the most beautiful bone structure. I can't take credit, it's genetic. Well, it's never too early to watch problem areas. The jaw, the little pouches beneath the eyes. Do you mind? You touch her, she'll break your arm. She thinks what you do is... Barbaric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barbaric. Oh, me. I like my face the way it is. Sweetie, did you try filming? I wouldn't say barbaric. I can't be definitive. I mean, if people really want to do it, go for it, but I don't think you should. But there are instances where, like, she had her you have to, you know? Her chin changed, her jaw reconstructed. Okay, well, dress it up however you want, but it's still a guess. Look, my experience and my expertise don't extend to this. Who hates herself so much that she not only changes her looks, but her core architecture? Damn. If we don't know who she is, then how will we be able to catch the person who murdered her? Is that your way of apologizing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I accept. I love your guts, sweetie. I haven't heard from Rachel in two weeks. Is that unusual? I prefer to ask the questions my own way, Agent Finn. Thanks. Rachel booked out at a one-week wait. <laughs> She knows to check in with me if the client wants to extend the contract. It's time uh, to worry. Do any of these women resemble Rachel? Rachel wasn't even her real first name. Oh. But she goes by Rachel Lachance. I need his name. It's confidential. It's hard to do. It's always the same story. Dr. Anton Kostov, an assembly line nip tucker in town. If that's all. Do you have a card, Ms. Bardu? Don't leave town. <laughs> We provide a law enforcement discount. Oh boy. Do you have any idea what Rachel looked like before her plastic surgery? Which time? Damn. The Romans feared How did you get very little was written about them one time. thing on him. Fierce warriors. This is unique in that no pictures have been found this far south before. It's a face. Maybe Angela got it wrong. Hey. Zach screwed up the measurements. Hey. This whole picked business sounds like one of your stories. Are you trying to get fired? Science is no country for storytellers, baby. Cost of new I like how he's just casually doing this to his boss. Like, Nothing too surprising except for e-glass fibers. She didn't pick that up in a field. No, it's marine fiberglass. I sent it to the FBI crime lab so they can run DNA tests. That's zirconium, by the way, not a diamond, so I'm guessing she wasn't your top drawer high-class prostitute. All the osteological perturbations are consistent with recent elective surgeries, except for compound fractures in the right tibia and fibula, which indicate traumatic compression and adrenaline. You're ordering a prostitute for my cell phone? wonder if uh, Rachel ever took part in any of those 2 one specials. Hey, classic. That's a classic. 
That's great. Just send me whoever she worked with the most. I have to get up early tomorrow. Why? I mean, the producer. You're one of those guys. Oh, God. What guys? One of those guys who say they just want to talk. The dude just want to talk. <laughs> okay. This can't be happening. She looks like she should not be doing this job. Nobody should be doing this job, but <laughs> she doesn't look like the type of person who fits this job. Like you, you couldn't get like a different job. We know things about powerful people. And I'm not convinced. Oh, I want it to be this. She played some kind of terrorist on 24. She got killed in like four seconds. Nick, now that Candace was called her. No. We have strict rules. You might want to have a little respect. Check on those drinks for her. How do you know she's... How, how yes, do you know? Thank you. How do you know? Thank you. How does she look? She doesn't even look like a... <laughs> how do you know? Is it the dress? That looks like a normal dress. That's all my son. Making assumptions, man. She's literally wearing more clothes than, like, almost everybody there. Have I done something to offend you? Look, I'm not really into this whole West Coast in touch with your feelings thing, okay? So... <laughs> I'm really good at my job. This is a proud and noble job, but you're using it to get to something else. My advice? Write your script. Get an agent. Hell, have a little plastic surgery. But quit using my Federal Bureau of Investigation as a stepping stone into something that you think is better. Because in my book, there is nothing better. I am here with Penny Marshall. How did this all come together? I have no idea. <laughs> well, my brother Gary gave me the book and I liked it. Bidding war? That's gotta be a thrill for a first time author. I wasn't actually there. You must be a big fan of Penny's films. So which one's your favorite? I enjoyed her humorous treatment of the time-space paradox. Big. Oh. Very funny. <laughs> space paradox. We have a suspect and I have to go. Would you look good there? Passion. <laughs> Volleyball! Pretty good chance one of these leaping losers is our killer. Did you, you say leaping losers? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Anyone who plays this stupid game is capable of murder. Please? It's such a fun game. Hey, everyone who isn't Nick Harbison, go get the ball. I actually thought about getting back together with him, even though... You broke all the windows in the car? <laughs> well, what would you do if you found out your girlfriend was a prostitute? When did you last see Rachel? Probably just break up with her, not break all the windows. <laughs> Probably not have a freaking mental breakdown. And as pretty as she was, she was just never pretty enough to be all black and blue. And then she would heal, and she would look beautiful. As an actor, of course he's convincing. <laughs> Doesn't seem to work for me. She's playing volleyball in the middle of the day. Just an observation. I have an announcement. We could actually go in and look, confirm the authenticity. I decline to continue the investigation at this time. I knew this was going to happen. Because we have been colleagues on this, more than superior and subordinate, I have allowed you to be insubordinate. But I warn you, Dr. Hodgins, that is over. Do you want my letter of resignation? You know what would be better? Put them on the table and measure, right? Okay, look, everybody just turn and walk away. If you want me to resign, just say so. Ms. Montenegro is right. <laughs> you think you just won something. I'm telling you, Goodman was the bigger man. <laughs> Sounds like people on Twitter. You took what was unique and particular about her and destroyed yeah. it. Maybe it's some kind of sharpened screwdriver. Why are you being so mean to Dr. Goodman? I'm not being mean. I'm being critical of his process. Why are you being so critical of his process? This is the type of situation where people say, oh my god. <laughs> person and say it. Oh my god. 
Scenario number one, prostitute gets breast augmentation from plastic surgeon in return for sex. She threatens to tell on him. You think she's an idiot? Oh, it's the whole case. It's a bust. It's a blank. We don't have anything. We check I think she's an idiot. Out. Someone's got to be missing someone, though. Colin is calling you back because Someone's he totally I'm missing at a dead her. end. You have to tell him he's wrong. That has to. Just has to. Maybe usually by now we know more about my stuff. But we have separate stuff? Yeah, by now I usually have a feel for the person. What they wanted, how they felt. He doesn't know anything. Lives. She thought she was ugly. She did everything yeah, she, she had could to make herself self beautiful. Of, like, and she hated she did herself. And all make herself more invisible. Yeah. We were born unique. Our experiences mold and change us. We become someone, all of us, and to have that taken away by murder, to be erased from existence against our will, it's just Evil. unacceptable. Erased These from bones, existence against our will. Compared the wounds to the marks left on her job, it's brilliant, Zach. It was Hodgins. Well, Hodgins according you, so it was us. Go team. But get this. <laughs> according to the National Plastic Surgery Association. Dr. Henry Alice, Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. Go. There we go. We have something. But we don't have evidence, do we? Is that I'm evidently bound to ask? You can't alter the bone. I've proven it incorrect. A search warrant here to collect your surgical instruments. Oh. The only ones we require, Dr. Atlas, are the ones you have signed yourself. She told me her name was Susan Shepard. Huh. That's not her name, I assume. So many freaking fake names. God, that looks awful. You wanted to see me? You're fired. <laughs> you do know he's been dead for 1500 years, right? I am an archaeologist. This is what we do. Because you're not taking him or put him to back together? By people who respect and loved him. Don't I owe it to them not to let the pure scientists desecrate his remains? You were waiting for imaging technology to improve to the point where it wasn't necessary to disassemble him. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I suppose I could say that. It's less uh... sentimental for the pure scientists. Oh, God. <laughs> An understanding. <laughs> So which one is it? You've got the murder weapon. You argued with a woman you knew as Susan Shepard shortly before she died. So what you need now is confession. Your patient list is what's known as a aid list, right? Oscar winners, supermodels, super agents, moguls. So how is it that a call girl makes the grade? You can answer that, Henry. I did Susan's procedure pro bono. Why? Because she volunteered. Was she a guinea pig? Yeah, she was a leader. Wow. Was she thought you were going to marry her? Something along those lines, yes. So I made a change. I started requesting Susan. Did you trade plastic surgery for sexual favors? Susan had become addicted to plastic surgery. I refused to do any more procedures. That's what my staff was arguing about. What was Susan like? Could it have diamonds been her? Sizers, diamonds in her fingernails. They oh, killed her. Hodgins find a fingernail. Yeah. Yes. It so it was. It was whoever. Mm -hmm. It's the jealousy thing. It wasn't her fingernail. Yeah. Jealousy, like I said. So, what was the name of the escort before Susan? Tell the man what he needs to know, Henry. <laughs> Is it the same one that we saw earlier? She killed her friend. It's the same one as earlier. You got jealous. Damn. Jealousy. Leslie thought Rachel was stealing her man, so she killed her. What did she ask you? She asked me if I thought she was beautiful. I got one more thing. I had the bureau search for adolescent girls that were injured in car crashes in the upper northeast 10 to 12 years ago. Do we have a picture? Her name is Allison Holmes. Father and her brother are still alive. Somewhere in Bangor, Maine. We'll return the remains. You do your thing. I do mine. <laughs> they work together. Got her. Hand in hand. Yeah. Pretty little thing. 
Damn. Happens all the time, though. Pretty and beautiful people always think that they're just not, and they are, and then they do something. You are amazing just the way you are. <laughs> Everyone. Um, solid episode. A, a kind of newer... Like, challenge, I guess, is the word to use uh, with this episode. But, yeah. In cases like this with prostitutes, those are harder to solve. Those are harder to figure out because, like, they had to deal with all the different names, all, you know, some people that have, you know, they, they aren't missed sometimes, so when one goes missing, you're like, it, it's hard to, to piece together all the evidence, and they got it at the end, but you can definitely see that struggle of, like, oh my gosh, we have nobody to talk to, really. We have to, like, dive and dig so much deeper to find the whole story, um, but we did, so... Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see you all next time.